Squid Game creator says he hasn't hit financial jackpot with the Netflix series. Squid Game is the most trending Netflix series these days. As soon as it was launched on Netflix, it started to be discussed in every house and friend circle. The inventor of Squid Game may have delivered a massive success for Netflix, but he hasn't quite won the jackpot yet. However, Wang Dong Hyuk is said to have remarked in an interview with The Guardian that he has plenty and enough money to put food on the table for his family. And it's not like Netflix was rewarding him with a bonus, he said. Netflix compensated him under the terms of the original contract. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel, Inspire Celebrity. In today's video, we'll be discussing what Squid Game creator said that he hasn't hit the financial jackpot with the Netflix series. Sound interesting? And we know that you can't wait, so let's get started. But before beginning, kindly like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of our latest video updates. Now let's get started with our video. Unlike the protagonist of his successful streaming drama Squid Game, Wang Dong Hyuk isn't exactly winning the Squid Game jackpot. While Squid Game has become a bona fide cultural phenomenon with record viewership, the Korean show's creator hasn't exactly turned it into a cash cow for his efforts. In a recent interview, series creator Huang said that the critically acclaimed survival drama has essentially supplied him with enough to put food on the table because more than 132 million subscribers tuned in for at least two minutes of the show. According to Bloomberg News, the South Korean survival drama became Netflix's most watched series of all time in its first month, prompting the writer Stuart Jeffries to suggest this wasn't fair. As a matter of fact, Squid Game, which cost around $21 million to produce, is worth approximately $900 million to the streaming service. In an interview with The Guardian, the 50-year-old Seoul native said that Netflix does not offer him a bonus. The actor also pointed out that despite the program's enormous popularity, Squid Game recently surpassed Bridgerton to become Netflix's most watched show of all time, and the streaming company is still paying him the amount agreed in the original contract. He drew inspiration from his own family's financial troubles when he created, wrote, and directed the Netflix Battle Royale series. The show follows a group of desperately indebted men and women as they compete in lethal children's games for a share of around $38 million in cash. He was in such financial trouble while writing the script that he was forced to sell his laptop for $675 at one point. Wang said that he would likely never be as wealthy as Squid Game's gambling-addicted protagonist, Seong Gi-hun, who ends up winning the deadly decathlons $38,467,271.20, first place prize. The director, on the other hand, stated that he had enough money to get by. Nonetheless, this may appear to be a pittance because the dystopian thriller has been seen by 142 million households and has increased Netflix's subscription number by 4.4 million subscribers. As of right now, the streaming service is anticipated to be worth around $900 million in revenue from the series. Not to add that, the physical and mental strain of filming Squid Game had a major toll on Huang's health. According to the silence director of the creative process, it was so stressful that he lost six teeth as a result of the experience. Wang said that he continued coming up with new ideas and reworking the episodes as they were filming, so the amount of labor doubled. According to reports, the series Squid Game, in which cash-strapped players participate in dangerous playground games for rewards, is based on a South Korean television series about Wang's problems during the economic crisis that shook the country in 2009. Wang is said to have taken sanctuary in comic novels published in Seoul, such as Battle Royale and Liar Game, which show people that are desperate for wealth and success. As he said to The Guardian, if there was a survival game like that in the real world, he pondered if he would join it to gain money for his family. He recognized that, as a filmmaker, he could add his own unique perspective to these kinds of situations, so he began writing the script. Fortunately, Huang hasn't put an end to anyone's hopes of winning the Squid Game prize. The winner of the Squid Game may require him to complete Season 2 in order to achieve the same financial success as him, he said. However, it is uncertain whether or not there will be a Season 2, and even if there is, it would not be released until 2023. As a result of its macabre subject matter, or perhaps because of it, the Squid Game has become a worldwide phenomenon that has inspired countless memes, TikTok videos, the year's most popular Halloween costumes, and real-life versions of some of the game's challenges, all without the threat of death, of course. 
Well, that's all for today's video. Let us know what you thought about it in the comments section below. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did find it informative, please like and subscribe and don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more amazing celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned to Inspire Celebrity.